Hi, dear learners of English grammar. Welcome back to my Grammar for Success channel. I am Koresh Babu, a retired lecturer in English from Hyderabad. In today's video, I am going to teach you all about the phrases that take an article because there are some other phrases that do not take an article. And this grammatical aspect will, is very, will be very, very useful and helpful to you in all your competitive examinations. Therefore, I request all of you to pay a very good attention uh, to all these phrases that are going to be taught in this video. And uh, I also request you to watch this video till the end without skipping it in the middle. Now, let's get into the video. Phrases with an article useful for all competitive examinations. Okay. Now, let's get into the video. Right. A or an, all of you know very well about the use of A and an, I taught you in one of my videos, you know, I know, I think you have watched that video, A or an is used in the following phrases. What are those phrases? Please, you have to learn them by heart. What are they? At a loss, okay, at a loss, don't say at loss, but at a loss, okay, at a loss means, for example, at a loss means two meanings are there. For loss, one meaning, at a loss means highly confused, two meanings are there. I will give you examples for all these uh, phrases. At a profit means for profit, at a cost means no, uh, at a cost, at cost is there, at a cost is there, at a cost means what is that, uh, by uh, giving up something else, okay, achieving something by losing something or by giving up something, okay, I will I'll show it, uh, show the meaning of this phrase in the example, okay, and uh, next comes what is that, uh, after a while, after some time, as a rule, okay, as a rule means, as a, you can say, well, generally, as a result, as a result, you know that very well, as a reminder, and you, everybody knows, at a time, at a time means at the same time, for a time means for some time, okay, and here for a while, for some time, for a start, in EMS, in EMS means in trouble or in a, what is that, you know, some difficulty. In a rage, in a means in anger. So, uh, what is that, as a reward, for a change. In all of them, we use, you know, A, 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 okay. We are using in all of them, all these things, okay, right. And uh, some more words are there and let us see that list also, okay. Please keep all these words in your mind, okay, and uh, learn them by heart. That's very, very important. If you can learn them by heart, and they will be in your mind and some more words are there what are they for a moment okay for a moment means i'll just give you in a sense in a quandary what is that in a way of a kind to a degree okay have a rest have a talk on a large or small scale what is that have a sleep have a bath as a consequence okay what is that to a, to a small extent or in a dilemma so these are all the phrases okay in the the phrases that are mentioned in the slide one and this is the slide two. All these phrases take a or an in them. Okay. Examples are given here. What are the examples? Here, at a loss. At a loss means I have already told you that at a loss means for some loss, for loss. Okay. And he sold his bike at a loss. At a loss means for loss. Okay. He purchased the bike for 30,000 and sold it for 25,000. What is that? He sold it the bike for uh, a loss, at a loss. He sold his bike at a loss, at a loss of 3000 rupees, 5000, whatever it is. You can mention this or you need not also mention this one. You can say up to this. He sold his bike at a loss. I sold my house at a loss. He sold his vegetables at a loss. Okay, something like that. He sold his mobile at a loss, whatever it is. You can, you know, how much loss means? Half 3000, 2000, 1500. Then you can mention it if it, is, if it is necessary. You can mention it otherwise. You can stop the sentence up to here. Okay, and you go to the next one. At a loss means highly confused. Okay, highly confused. When she won the award, okay, when she got the award, what happened? She was at a loss for words. She was highly confused to find words to speak out, to find words to speak out. When you become, because you are totally, you can say, uh, what is it now? You are totally shocked and stunned at the award, at the unexpected award you have got. That's why you don't find any words. You'll be in a confusion to speak out or to, uh, and therefore you don't find any words. And that's why when she won the award, she was at a loss for words. That is the meaning. And here, at a profit means, in simple words, you can say, for profit, okay. She sold her scooter at a profit. 
you can stay, uh, you can uh, say the sentence only up to here at a profit of how much profit means to say the profit you must teach of 2000 rupees she sold her scooter at a profit of 2000 rupees at a, two, at a profit of 2000 rupees okay and here as a rule generally as a rule means generally okay practically generally men tend to be taller than women generally uh, men are suppose women are taller than women as a rule means generally generally as a result as a result of something see mohan suffers loss of appetite he does not have any taste even if he is eating uh, you can say very delicious food okay he doesn't uh, can say feel any taste so he lost his appetite as a result of covid 19 as a result of covid 19 means because of covid 19 he lost the sense of uh, appetite okay right and as a result of one more example for a while means for some time she worked in the sales department for a while for a while means for some time you can make use of all these phrases in your everyday life and but remember all these phrases are taking a or an in them okay now after a while after a while means you know that very well after some time they returned home after a while they return home after some time that's the meaning it's a very beautiful phrase as a reminder reminder means as something that reminds you of something okay uh, as a reminder the scar on her face there is a scar on her face some kind of blur some kind of scar on her face that stands as a reminder of her husband's ill treatment that always reminds her of the ill treatment as uh, caused by her husband that is there so she it is a scar the scar is the reminder of her husband's ill treatment it is the reminder of her husband's ill treatment so as a reminder means it is serving as a reminder okay right so uh, uh, as a thing that reminds you as a thing that brings back into your mind that incident okay right and now let's go to the next one what is that in a sense in a, in a sense means some meaning what he says is right in a sense in some sense in some sense in some meaning what he says is right okay in a sense as a reward as a reward means okay uh, as a gift as a presentation like that his parents bought him a bike as a reward for passing the examination he passed the examination and uh, his parents bought him a bike as a reward as a presentation as a gift okay something appreciatory award okay a reward okay right uh, for a change for some uh, for a change last night we slept on the floor for a change we slept on the floor every day you are, you, you are sleeping on what is that on the cot but today you are sleeping on the floor it is only for a change every day you are walking along the road you know every day you are walking along the road morning and evening but this time you are walking in the park so for a change or every day you are walking in the park but for a change you are walking today on the road okay along the road whatever it is and one more example for a start i don't think she will get a job she looks to be too young for a start she looks too young for a start. Okay, I don't think she will get a job. She may not get a job because she looks too young for a start. It means for starting her career, for starting her life now, she looks too young to start her career. That means she is too young, so young that cannot uh, that she cannot start her life uh, now itself. So she will. She has to take some more time after two or three years she becomes all right and then she can take start her career so for your start she is too young for your start okay for your start me for the beginning for making a beginning okay now for your moment for your moment for this moment can you hold the line for your moment for some time for a few minutes for your moment can you hold the line for a moment suppose you are talking to your friend okay as on the phone then what happened you know somebody you can say knocked at the door and you should go there and open the door so that's why you know you are asking your friend to hold the line for a moment for a moment for a short period for a short period for a moment and here what is that in a moment in some short in short in short time she prepared tea in a moment in a very short period in a moment means in a very short period something like that at a time both of them reached the airport at a time at a time mean at the same time also you can say both of them reached the airport at a time at a time this man reached the airport this man reached the airport at a time they reached the airport okay yes at the same time in a mess in a mess means in trouble 
okay right now the economy of pakistan is in terrible mess in a terrible mess means in trouble okay in in a chaotic atmosphere in a chaotic situation something like that so in trouble that is the meaning in ms means in trouble but when you say in trouble you know you should not say you cannot say in a trouble okay remember that you cannot say in a trouble no that's bad in trouble is right here in this phrase a is a should not be used but in this phrase you have to use a see the difference english is that's why called a a kind of two edged knife it can cut this side it can cut this side also right and uh, in a rage in a rage means in anger okay in anger so in a rage being in a rage she slammed the door in my face she closed the door slammed the door means closing the door very in a, in a in a what is it a hurried manner in a hurried manner closing the door in a hurried way so she closed slammed the door in my face okay being in a rage okay and in in a dilemma remember this is very important uh, several times this was given in the examination in the examination what happens you know especially these things are given in in spotting errors questions only in these are given in spotting error questions okay what they do you know they drop this a and they give the sentence she is in dilemma they say then you have to say this part of the sentence uh, has a has an error you have to show that that much only you have to do so these are all useful for you in uh, to face the uh, spotting error questions okay that's why keep all these things in your mind and here in a dilemma means she is in a dilemma whether to accept her boyfriend's proposal or not she is in a dilemma means she is a con she is in confusion in a dilemma means in confusion in confusion don't say in a confusion but in confusion at a cost is there at a cost means okay i have already told you having lost you know by giving up or by losing something else you get something by losing something you achieve something by losing or by giving up something okay for example he got the job not uh, by writing an examination not by attending an interview but he got the job by paying something and something and by you can say uh, re uh, requesting this man and that man and uh, yes, what is that no but at a cost at a cost means having lost a lot of money having lost uh, what is that a lot of you know uh, having uh, give, having uh, given up a lot of you can say uh, time and money and wealth and all that so he got that job the got the job but at a cost at a cost means having lost a lot he lost so much to get that job to secure that job one more example is given she won the elections okay you know very well winning the elections is not a joke not an easy task so she won the elections but at a cost at a cost means with a great difficulty losing so much giving up so much if you want to get elected in the municipal uh, uh, you can say uh, as a as a ward member or as a ward councillor okay yes, as a corporator so it, it you know you have to lose a lot you have to give up a, so much of your money so you have to lose so much of money so that's why you know he won the election she won the election but at a cost the sentences are used in this way the phrases are used in this way number two this is the second rule a or an is used in the following phrases also in the following phrases also already you have seen some phrases in which a or an is used okay you must use a or an in all these phrases in the in the following phrases also you must use a or an what are those phrases let us see them as a matter of fact okay as a matter of fact in fact it is it is stone's throw take a risk okay and then comes a short while or a short time ago okay make an excuse make an excuse okay make a noise okay you know that very well don't make a noise most of the people say don't make noise don't some people say some teachers also say don't make noise in the class no don't make noise is wrong don't make a noise is correct a must be used in this phrase okay keep a promise okay make a deal with in a temper okay then in a rage in a mood in a hurry so in a hurry means i'm in a hurry i can't sign on the documents in hurry and another thing is there in haste is there look at this exam uh, phrase in haste in haste means in a hurry in a hurry means in haste but here in this phrase no article is used but in this phrase 
A is used. A, the article A is used. See the difference. In haste, in a hurry, both are the same. Yes, in meaning and in the use. But uh, here, I went to the office in haste. He came to my house in haste. In a hurry also, you can say. But uh, in a hurry, you can use this article. But in haste, you cannot say that. In haste, right. And you go to the next one. In a dilemma, already I have told you this. In a nutshell, nutshell means a brief, briefly. In a fix, okay. In a problem. In a problem or in trouble. In a problem, you can say. But you, you cannot say in a trouble, okay. In trouble. A few more words are there. You see, catch a cold. If you get wet in the rain, what happens? You catch a cold. Get a headache. Easy. At a discount. They are selling the saris at a discount of something. Whatever it is. At a discount, you can stop the sentence up to there. And if you want to mention the amount also, then you say, they are selling the mobiles at a discount of 1000 rupees, 800 rupees, 5 rupees. At a discount of... At a discount of okay, right. And here, what is that? At a premium for higher rate. Now, generally, you know, during the you can say season, what happens, you know, in Uti, take for granted, people go to Uti during summer, okay, during the summer season. Then what happens, you know, the rates of the hotels will go up. They, for example, instead of you know, per night per day, uh, 2500 in uh, for room, you know. But here, you know, during the uh, win, uh, during the summer season, they they you can say collect the charges at a premium. At a premium means five hundred extra, thousand extra, something like that. They are you can say they give the uh, can say they take collect the charges at a premium. Okay, yes, at a premium. Have a swim, have a meal. Okay, and have an interest in, have a pride in. Go for a swim. What is that? Take a meal. Okay, take a courage, take a rest. Okay. You see all of them have a sore throat, take a vacation, etc. These are all the phrases. In all of them, what is that A or N? Here in all the here, no, because of this interest, N is used. Because these are all the words beginning with a con o consonantal sound, we are using A, A, A. But here it is beginning, this word is beginning with a vowel sound. That's why we are using N here. So in this way, we can use A or N in all these phrases. Examples are there. What are the examples? As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact means, in fact, he is a hard working boy. As a matter of fact, yes, in fact, in, as a matter of fact means, in fact, to tell you the truth, he is a hard working boy. And then, et are within a stone's throw. See, et are, uh, et are within a stone's throw means, see, uh, my house is et are within a stone's throw of or away from the railway station. That means, you know, when, when you throw a stone, how long does it go? It will go only to a small distance, isn't it? So that means my house is very near as to the railway station. Okay, very near the railway station. That is what uh, uh, this uh, phrase, you know, uh, means. That a stone's throw off means very near. That is the meaning. Okay, my house is very near as to the railway station. Okay, mm. right. A short while ago. Short while ago, a very short time ago, the train left the platform. A, a, a okay, what's that? A, a short time ago, a short time. Ago. So this is very important. Several times this was given in the examination. Okay, right. And you go to the next one. A short time ago means she went home at a, sh a a short time ago. So two examples are given. Okay, at a discount, they are selling denim jeans at a discount. At a discount. At a discount of how much? 100 rupees discount. At a discount of 100 rupees. At a discount of 500 rupees. Whatever it is. So you can stop the sentence up to here. Or you can continue by saying half 500 rupees. Half 1000. Something like that. Some more examples. At a premium. Hotel rooms in Goa will be at a premium during the summer season. They will be at a premium. That means they collect more. More, I can say, uh, amount from the customers. That means at a premium. Instead of you know, 2500 per day, they collect 3000 rupees or 3500, whatever it is. It is at a premium. They sold the tickets at a premium. Okay. Adi Purush is there. So, generally, it is you know, on the first day 500,000 rupees on ticket. But you want to see, watch it the same day. That's why you, know, you pay some black market. Is what, do, what do they do? They, uh, they may ask you, they sell the tickets at a premium. At a premium of how much? 500 rupees. For 1000 rupees ticket, you have to pay 500 extra. This extra is called premium. So it's like that.
catch a cold. If you get wet in the rain, you will catch a cold. You will suffer from cold. That's the meaning. Go for a swim. I have asked my son not to go for a swim in the beach because it is very boisterous. The sea will be sometimes boisterous, very violent. So you cannot go for a swim. You cannot go for a swim. So the father, I have asked my son not to go for a swim. People generally go for a swim in the beaches. Okay, in the beach, waves will be coming very slowly and going back. So whatever it is, for a swim. Right. And here, have a swim. Just now I have had a swim in the beach. Had Have a swim, go for a swim. Going for a swim and having a swim. Okay, you know. And then have a meal, take a meal. I have, we have a take a meal together in the evening. We have a meal, we take a meal, both are the same. Okay. Have a bath. Did you, did you have a hot bath? Did you have a hot bath or cold bath? Bath, you know, bath. Bath is a noun. You have to say bath. Have you taken your bath today? Bath. So if it is in, if it's a verb, you know, you have to say bath. Bath, noun, bath, verb. Okay. I have bathed yes, with cold water. Okay. I have bathed with hot water. Bathed. I have bathed in the river. I have bathed. Bathed. So bath is a verb, bath is a noun. Okay. The next, you know, what is that? Have an interest in. You know, have an interest. She seems to have an interest in the scheme. So do you have an interest in this scheme? Do you have an interest in this video? Interest. Having an interest in this video. Please have an interest in learning uh, English. Okay. Have an interest. It's a very interesting phrase. Have a pride in. I have a lot of pride in my son's success. Take pride. or That's a verb. Of course. Have a lot of pride. A lot of pride. Have a pride. Have a pride. Of course, lot of letters. I have a pride in my son's success. I have a lot of pride in my son's success. So your son has got through uh, the civil services examination. He has been up. Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, he has become an IAS officer. He has passed. Got through uh, an IAS examination. Okay. Then what do you say? I have got. I have a lot of pride. I have a pride in my son's success. Whatever it is, I have in a temper. In a temper means in some kind of you know. What is that? Uh, uh, see, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, angry behavior being in. She smashed the flower was against the wall in a fit of temper. In a fit of temper means in anger, in what is that resentment, with some resentment. In a in a fit of temper, okay. In a fit of temper means in anger, being in anger. That's that. And in a mood. Today my mom is in in a good mood. This is also very important. Several times this was given in the examination. In a mood. I am not in mood. Don't say I am not in a mood. You have to say. I am not in a mood. Today my mom is in a good mood. So let us all go to a picnic. Okay. In a hurry. I am in a hurry to reach the airport in time. I am in a hurry. Okay. He is in haste. In a hurry. Okay. In a dilemma. She is in dilemma. Whether to join the company as a full timer or a part timer. In a dilemma. Remember this is also very very important. From the examination point of view. Don't say in dilemma. I am in dilemma. Re. Sometimes some... Um, um, some English speakers say, I am in dilemma. No, say, I am in dilemma. I am in a dilemma. That's important. And now you go to the next one. What is that? In a nutshell. In a nutshell means very briefly. What is that? She narrated the whole incident in a nutshell. In a nutshell means very briefly. That's the meaning. Don't say in nutshell. Hey, tell me the story of uh, Patan in nutshell. Don't say in nutshell. In, say you in a nutshell. That's very important. Okay. In a fix, in a fix means in in problem, in a problem. We shall be in fix, in a fix. That means we shall be in a problem or we shall be in trouble. In a problem, you can say. In trouble also, you can say. In a fix, if we miss the last bus. Suppose you are going home. There is only one bus, 8 o'clock bus. If you miss that, what happens? You will be in a fix. You have to stay back that night with your friend or with somebody else. Okay. That's why now you will be, we shall be in a fix if we miss the last bus. So, some more examples are there. Make an excuse. She made an excuse. That means, you know, uh, said something as, make an excuse means, you know, uh, to, to, to show some lame excuse. To show some lame excuse. Lame excuse, you know, that is there. So, some lame excuse. Okay. She made an excuse and left the party early. So, she said something. She said, sir, uh, my 
you can say at my at my home my parents are you know coming from hyderabad from uh, you can say mumbai and i have to receive them now, so some excuse you know she said some excuse she made an excuse and left the party early okay some excuse make a noise the children are making a noise in the house okay and uh, take a risk i knew i was taking a risk when i lent my friend the money okay when you are lending money to others means you are taking a risk you are taking a risk whether that money comes back to you or not because you have to you are taking a risk by giving take it courage it takes a lot of courage to oppose kim jon un so to oppose uh, kim jon un north korean president you know it takes a lot of courage you know if you just behave in a uh, different manner you know he will shoot you down okay he will kill you like anything okay right take a rest they decided to stop driving and take a rest okay they have been driving since morning and uh, now they have become very much tired and now they wanted to take a rest they want to take a rest okay a short rest take a vacation we are taking a two week vacation because this is summer and we are taking a two week summer uh, vacation to switzerland so in this way these are there right okay dear learners of english grammar with this you know this video comes to an end please watch this video again and again and uh, if you have any problem please uh, mention it in the comment section and one more thing is there please consider subscribing to my channel and uh, if possible please share it with uh, share this video with uh, your friends also right and with another beautiful video i am going to be back before you so until then bye see you all of you right